everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Bog and uh, today's video I'm going to be talking about some 143rd military models from edition Atlas or Atlas edition depending on which way you read it uh, they consist of a Hanna mag a, a 251-1 a multiple gun motor carriage a Sichuan type 23 and an M3 scout car I'll start off with the Citroen and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, this model here is the Citroen Type 23 from uh, Tanny France 1940 uh, for the 49th Battalion, the Charles de Combat. Uh, and it is a stunning little model of a, a troop transport truck. <laughs> Excuse me, and as you can see, it's in a nice uh, camo pattern. It does have little, very fine, fancy details. It has a nice rubber tire in the back, uh, nice little tow hooks. Little containers, compartments on the sides, uh, nicely applied little side mirrors. Uh, tow hooks in the front, very nice bow, a nice uh, license plate, uh, lens, uh, headlights. Like I said, the side mirrors are separate little applied pieces. It is a uh, die cast chassis, plastic box, but even so, it does have very nice uh, interior detail. You can see the nice little exhaust tip coming out the side. I don't want to take them off the bases, they are very delicate models. But you can see the nice little wooden uh, benches that are put in the back there to carry the troops. Uh, word of caution to anybody who <coughs> collects Edition Atlas and you find them, do be careful. I'll zoom out. When you put their cases, because they are very loose friction fit. They are very easy to drop so never grab them by the case thinking that it's going to hold. Grab them by the bottom because they will fall off. It's not having had this experience with these type of mo these models but <coughs> why take the chance? Uh, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, this car here is the M3 Scout car. As you can see it's it's a beautiful model with a pack full of details like you got the the light guards the the roller for the for the sand dunes or beach heads or whatever it is you got separate little gas tanks that are glued on a nice shielding for the front you got nice little boxes put on uh antenna you got really nice bumpers here uh, for the uh, the guard or the roll cage, roll bar, whatever you want to call it. And uh, nice little details, as you can see, they have the left hand drive uh, signals, really nice badging, uh, nice canvas packs that are put on on the back and on the side. Uh, very nice detail. Uh, the, the tires are rubber. Uh, the gun here. The 50 cal is in a fixed position, so you can't really move it. But as you can see, the interior is actually very nicely done. You have little separate levers for the transmission and the transfer case, nice steering wheel, eight passenger seating. And it is uh, a super looking vehicle. I, I do like this one a lot. It, it's, it's just m meant to be a big bruiser. Yeah, it's a very sharp, sharp casting. I will move on to the next model. Uh, the next model up is a Hanameg SDK. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, FZ. 251.1 half track and you can see it's again 
lots of little separate little applied pieces that could be easily broken. But same thing, the guns are in a fixed position. They don't uh, they don't move, but you see the guns are very nicely done and detailed. Has separately applied like antennas and a little mirror detail in the front. You even see a nice little uh, circular canister attached to the guns on both of them. Kind of nice badging, nice tampo work for the numbers. Same thing, it's rubber treads. I don't know if it uh, again will roll or turn. I don't want to try it on, but you can see I guess that's the registration number for the vehicle itself. They are uh, beautiful models. The interior is bench style of course. You can see a little bit of storage on the sides I guess for where the guns there's not much to see up front. It doesn't have really much detail, I guess. It's because it's a, a darker area, so but it is a very, very sharp and quite a delicate model, this one. But it is uh, beautifully done. And it'll look great in any display, or at least in mine. And we'll move on to the final. The final one here is the uh, multiple gun motor carriage, the M16, uh, with its anti aircraft gun. And this one is just, you know, it's a stunning model. It's just a beast of a model. The, can the, the, the gun and the, 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 the carrier, they're all fit in a fixed position, so you really can't do anything there, but. I mean, the way the guns are fixed in positions, can you imagine this thing just firing off its round? You could see where the, the gunner position is. And it has, same thing, rubber treads on it. And nice uh, winch and a bumper guard. Separately applied little pieces here and there. Registration numbers, nice tempo printing the star in the front uh, on the hood. Little gas tanks on the side. <coughs> the window garden that you know you can take down and a little applied boxes and stuff at the back. Now the interior is, is, is very nice but fairly sparse. You can see there's just position for a driver and a passenger. Another gunner, and I guess another gunner in the back. Cat hair everywhere. Just opening up these cases and there's cat hair everywhere. But you can see that there's not too much seating for passengers, so either they just kind of stand there, or it's just a three-person gun carriage, or a, a gun vehicle. But it is a very nice, sharp casting. And I do appreciate these Edition Atlas vehicles. Uh, they're just gorgeous. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do love reading all your comments. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.